Hi there, Dead Ideal Boy here, back with another video, but today I want to discuss something very, very important with you, so please listen in. Parental advisory required. We're going to talk about dirty driving and the driving standards on Gran Turismo 7 at the moment. So, we can see in the background there, me being taken out by Kimi Velocini and then someone trying to put me into a wall, but failing causing a massive collision around the corner though, as this guy has a terrible rejoin. But somebody deliberately trying to take me out. Um, we've then got this guy who, you know, decided to perform the highly frustrating push to pass manoeuvre. Um, he clearly didn't enjoy somebody retaliating because he then moved away from push to pass and simply wanted to push to the gravel. We've got this guy here who decided that he was the only person who was getting into the pit lane that day and put me into the wall, receiving the unbelievably harsh 1.5 second penalty barrier, which really just needs to go at this point. Um, and then on Saturday, we were live streaming and we came across this guy, a, a guy who is now infamous for his dirty driving. Claims he is now clean. And then we watch this series of events unfold, you know, two, three, four incidents all in the space of one race. Now, this was the worst of the lot. You can hear what is in the background how incredibly shocked I was. Um, frustrated as well that this is happening out there because the guy that actually got taken out here had nothing to do with anything that had happened to the dirty driver in the earlier in the race. They were nowhere near each other, but he became the victim. Are so that is ridiculous. You can hear in the background because the dirty driver then came into the stream chat and you can hear the conversation I now have. Nothing to do with anything that happened to you. But that that you might be angry about what's happened to you in the race, but that South African driver did nothing to you, mate. Nothing. And you've just absolutely sent him. That, what we witnessed there was nothing to do with racing. Mate, sorry. Nothing to do with racing. Now, in the very next race, we moved on to the Daily Race C, which we hoped would be less that eventful dirty. in terms of uh, incidents that's like the ones like we've that. just seen but it wasn't we we found plenty um from the races that we did you can see here a bit of a revenge attack because of the guy in the white supra had touched the red bull supra earlier on in the race and got murdered for it so yeah we've then got the same Italian driver from the previous race, um, and he absolutely wipes out that guy. Um, again, it's, it's nothing to do with racing this, so why play the game if you're not interested in racing? Go and play Wreckfest if you, if you want to take part in actions like this. Now what I want to really know from you guys, if you're not in the top split daily lobbies, which these races are all from, because that's where I've been doing my racing as an A-plus driver for some time. If you're anything below that and you've been racing, what, what are you seeing out there? Are you seeing similar? Is it cleaner? Is it dirtier? Because people say don't make videos about these dirty drivers. Now, the theory behind that is you're giving them fuel, you're giving them the attention they crave. But this is happening elsewhere because people are telling us about the driving standards in the levels below. Now the top split you would expect to be the cleanest, it really isn't, but I'm assuming that below the top split daily you know, race lobbies it's not that great either, but I want to know from you guys, because PD really need to know what's happening out here. This is their flagship racing game for the PlayStation, and to be honest with you, it's just been, you know, slowly going downhill since the release in March. Now, we know the reporting system doesn't work. We can't do anything about individual drivers. If you say something that's deemed naughty to somebody after the race, then you might get a ban, but not for the driving standards itself. You know, re you know you've got like things like ACC, it's got a reporting system where you've got a cooling off period and you've got actual stewards. Now, player numbers obviously might dictate that's not possible with Gran Turismo, but 
something has to be done. Anyway, if you liked the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.